five, main engine ignition, all three engines up and burning. Two, to whom it may concern. one, and lift off. Uh, what is this, some Hollywood liposuction? Lift? <laughs> you know we ain't about all that. Welcome to the Skull and Bone Show. All right, guys, welcome back to the Skull and Bones Show. We are Skull and Bones Radio. Check us out online at skullandbonesradio.com. Yes, we Check is. us out on iTunes. We got uh, Jean Perry on here. We got Mickey Three Jammers filled. We've got Matt Man One Hundo. One Hundo. CJ in the building. What up? How is everyone? Good. Wonderful. Doing good. Wonderful. All, All right. right. Go ahead, man. I see everybody always cutting me off, man. I can't ever get a word in here. I'm doing fine now. Thank you. Thank you for asking. All right. So hey, we'll get right into it. Um, as we know, Mick's been going through this uh, entertainment business school. He's been going on about you know. Mm-hmm. Getting a what a, a license for entertainment business management. Well, I'm trying to do everything, man. I'm He's trying, trying to, to do everything. Yeah. He's trying to start a business. Mm-hmm. So much so that I've heard about it nonstop. <laughs> so we've given Mick, you know, the, the spotlight here. He's he's decided to. Um, I don't know, come up with questions to see if he's ready for just real basic questions to see if he's ready to to start a business or even if he's even ready for that. Well, let, let's be quite truthful here, Jean Perrion. It's you that's trying to see if I'm ready for the business. I am. Like I said, I've been hearing about it nonstop. So, like I said, we've given you the spotlight. We've given you uh, your time on the mic. And we're going to see if you, we've brought in a CEO of mm-hmm. a, a what, very what you successful business. sound like a dog, but you go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, we brought in our friend, friend Tom. Tom, introduce yourself. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> so, Tom is here. Tom is a very successful business owner. Um, so we're going to give Mick a stab at Tom, and Tom will let us know, you know maybe where Mick stands or if he's ready or give us insight on his. I'll do my best. Okay, well, first off, I just want to say right here that <clears throat> I have been going to business school, and, uh, and what kind of uh, made this all happen was I went to this first school, which was a music performance school, mm-hmm. to go be a rock star. And uh, and then I realized that that wasn't uh, going to be a possibility. So I was like, all right, well, I ain't good enough. Apparently there's... Oh, uh, you're always a rock star in my eyes. Oh, man. See, that's why I love you, man. Thank you. What? One love. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Hey. Hey, you and me, Matt. I, afterwards. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so back to what I was saying. So anyhow, no record labels wanted me. And so, you know, I was like, all right, well, this is a mess, dude. Because, like, I... I, I'm, I don't want to give up on my dreams here. So then I enrolled myself in a business school thinking, I'll just open up my own goddamn record label. And there's like a bunch of things that you need in Hollywood in order to be successful. You need a lawyer. You need a talent agent. You need a manager. You need a publicist. And you need an accountant. Well, I'm trying to knock as many of those out as possible on my own so I can self-serve. Thank you. <laughs> so anyhow, <laughs> in school, we have to come up with a business plan in order to, uh, to graduate. And so my final projects will be coming up here uh, before too, too long. And uh, so Jean thought it might be a good idea if I start putting together some, some uh, questions to, um, what you call it, to see if my final project is right. So my, yeah. my final project is my business plan. So in a way, I'm glad that you did come in to, to, to take your time to, to, to talk to me. So Pick his you. brain, right? Yeah, exactly. Happy to help. Happy to help. Right. Try to find out the secrets. <clears throat> First question I have for you, because <clears throat> I have been described as a uh, – Hollywood degenerate street kid. So after taking a good look at me, if I went into a business meeting with you, would you take me serious? <laughs> well, the, you know, the description is uh, is a little inaccurate. I would say you look like a Hollywood degenerate adult. <laughs> street, street adult. <laughs> not a street kid. Um, Merciless. But He's take, take it seriously. Um, are you uh, – uh, we're having a business meeting where you're thinking of opening a taco stand maybe. Because, <laughs> uh, well, yes, and I would definitely take it seriously. <laughs> dang, man. Shots fired. Shots fired. All right. Well, I don't know if this is going uh, – dang. All right. Well. Looking for revenge. That's right, Matt One Hundo. You got my back. All right. Well, then on to question number two then. The first one didn't seem to do so well. <clears throat> Do you think I could get people hired pro bono until my rock star career takes off? Because I don't exactly have the money to hire people right off the start. Wait, what's pro boner? <laughs> Maybe you should explain that to our listeners. Mick has a lot of boners these days, I think. <laughs> well, I didn't take Viagra this week. But uh, basically, can I, can I hire people without having to pay them as they're supposed to be paid? And then I'll back pay them once I make my millions of dollars, once I'm a hit rock star. 
Mm. So you want to give them an IOU? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can do that. Well, actually, I think you can do that. It's called, uh, they're called interns. Interns, yes. <laughs> I used to be one of those. IOUs don't pay the bills, Mick. <laughs> well, I was an intern. You were an intern at one I time. I was an intern, yeah. I think we were all interns at one point. But, you know, I didn't even think about that. Okay, so I appreciate that. So I'm going to write down right now, intern. Interns yeah. work for free. Interns work for free. And I'm going to hire them. Let me add one thing. Maybe Tom can attest to this. The schools are getting all fancy now. And to be able to get interns, at least through universities, you have to have somebody that they can actually shadow that knows what they're doing. So you may have a little trouble with that. Hold up, man. You trying to poke fingers over here? (laughs) I'm just saying. There has to be some training. Yes. (laughs) Jesus. Question number three. Moving on. Moving on. (laughs) You guys suck, man. I swear to God. <laughs> Killing my vibe. Exactly, Just man. trying to help you, man. You guys are slashing dreams around here. And I don't mean slash like guns and rope. I mean, you guys are literally slashing dreams over here. All right. So as a business owner, ooh, this one's important. <clears throat> this is something I've been contemplating. But I can't really ever ask the professors because they don't really let me ever have time to ask them questions in class. <laughs> so I'm glad that we have you here. They so, probably do that purposely. I, if they, Well, let's hope not. So that way they don't have to listen to your questions. Well, well thank you, Casey James. <laughs> it's much appreciated. As a business owner, am I allowed to hire girls' secretaries based on the way they look? And can I not accept the fat and ugly ones? Mm. Absolutely. What? <laughs> yes! As long as you don't mind getting sued and possibly thrown in prison. <laughs> well, hold on a second. Now, but I don't have money, though, for in case I get a lawsuit. I don't even have a lawyer right now. Well, it's kind of the same thing where you want to give them an IOU. You'll just be giving them an IOU for the money you earn in the future. <laughs> I don't think I like the way this is sounding. Well, hold up. We all saw the movie Entourage, right? Ari Gold. Like, I mean, that's what that whole building was known for. Is like the secretaries were hot. The yes. agents were, or it's like whoever it was. That's they what were I all want. hot. That it's is pretty, a TV pretty, show. Oh, John. come on, man. <laughs> that's not real life. That is a TV show. Don't you dare say that. Don't say no, that's that. That's Entourage, baby. <laughs> okay. I, I would think that you could kind of discreetly hire the attractive people. Well, it really depends on, you know, what business you're in i mean if you're hiring for a movie and it calls for a pretty girl you kind of have to hire a pretty girl don't you that makes sense yeah but if you're hiring someone to make you coffee it becomes a different story i think okay i think i just found a loophole then so um, we're gonna put it in the description (laughs) you might be in a movie Playing a pretty girl in my record label. So, <laughs> you know, on your me. record label. <laughs> so you must be pretty. <laughs> so you must be hot. <laughs> Don't apply otherwise. 7.5 out of 10 at least. <laughs> I think defining movie would be helpful in that job description. <laughs> Just saying. One of those like questions it, is coming up. It can't be an iPhone movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, this is not going well. All right. Uh, number four. <clears throat> This one's important because I don't have a lot of money to start my business up. Do I have to pay people at all if I feel that they're doing, uh, if they're uh, terrible employees? How does that work? (laughs) (laughs) Generally speaking, if you've got someone that's a terrible employee, just fire them um, and hire someone that's, that's, you know, a little better. Um, yeah, but what if I, what if I like what if what if I'm like okay maybe they're doing an okay job but just one week they just really suck and I'm like you know what dude I don't feel like you deserve your money this week like I'm not gonna pay you can I do that <laughs> yeah no not at all <laughs> okay fair enough I think you have to write them up you have to counsel yeah. them no it's completely illegal you can't just not pay them Nick <laughs> okay so if I write them up can I still not pay them <laughs> no no Jesus all right this sucks Who wants to run a business all right. Do I have to pay someone vacation time even if they don't leave San Diego? <laughs> well, that's an interesting question, I think. Yeah, because technically they're not on vacation. We're, here, yeah. we're still here. Well, if you've promised to pay them for their vacation, you actually do have to pay them for their vacation, whether they leave San Diego or not. But then it's not a vacation. Well, what, haven't it's you a, heard of staycation? staycation, yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> Bro, what's a staycation? It's like Where a daycation, <laughs> except you don't <laughs> leave. You just stay here and you get paid to... Yeah. Casey James, did you uh, one, John? I can't believe you didn't know that one. But two, I don't know if you realize this, but vacation and staycation are not spelled the same. So if you go into, so in the contract, I understand that. I understand that they're not well spelled the same. You know, we brought Tom all the way down. Maybe we can ask him a serious question. Okay. Okay. All right. We, 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 we were talking. Serious? We were. Uh, all right, we, fair. Were, we were talking, and before uh, uh, we got started here, and you were saying Tom that vacations aren't mandatory though. Vacations are not mandatory in the United States. 
Um, so it's just based on your negotiations with the employee? It, exactly true. In, in most countries around the world, uh, you know, people are given a certain amount of vacation time. I think in Spain it's something like eight weeks uh, Dang. a year. Yeah. That's a lot. Plus they give you an extra month's pay in December. What? Because how are you going to pay for that vacation if you don't have an extra month's pay? What? Dude, we don't do that here. But we live in the USA. And the laws are a little bit different. America. We're a capitalist society. We live in America. God. That's terrible. God bless America. God bless America. God bless well, America. Hey, what about sick days, though? Because I've heard in certain businesses, you know, where if you have so many sick days, you have to make you take, you know, use those as vacation days, I think, right? Uh, it, the, the rules vary from company to company. Okay. So there's no, like, dead set, obviously. No. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think going back to Matt was Matt was saying, kind of getting a little more serious over here. I do have a, a kind of serious question because uh, it, it seems to be done sometimes, but I don't I don't Looking know how this. <laughs> that that was unintentional, but it it still served the purpose it needed to serve. <laughs> I about cursed. <laughs> All right, here's my serious question. <clears throat> Due to my business being in the entertainment industry. <clears throat> Can I hire girls based on casting couch interviews? You really are trying to go to prison, aren't you? <laughs> no, but I don't think Bill Cosby went to prison. <laughs> That's a good Not point. Yet. <laughs> the jury's still out. <laughs> well, that's a serious question because I heard that stuff used to happen all the time. How does porn work? In porn? <laughs> I'm an inter- quote unquote <laughs> entertainment industry company. <laughs> I'm not like anything, you know what I mean? Have it's you so heard much- of lying? Have you heard of lying? <laughs> you, when you hire them for porn, you're not lying. You're like, this is what you're going to be doing. They're like, hey, we'll give you a little sneak peek. <laughs> okay, screw this. It's no longer going to be a music record label, it's going to be a porn record label. <laughs> <laughs> a porn label. How are you supposed to do that? For I records? I don't know, dude. You're not supposed to like call me out on air like that. <laughs> <laughs> Triple X records. Sex sounds. Ooh, I like that. Triple X records. Dang, that's that's how I get away with. That's my loophole. That way, they X say records. like, I did, yeah, it's an indirect. <laughs> yes, exactly. Ooh, I knew. Th- you know what? Jesus, this did work out. Thank you. Triple X records. All right, I make- spell X three times. Records. X X. Uh, all right, I got one last one. This that's, is your that's last. That's actually three X's, Mick. I put a T. I don't know how that <laughs> happens. I put TXS. <laughs> I don't think Mick's ready for her business. Um, all right, so I got one last one. All right, all right, Mick. This is your last shot of redemption here. Like Tom is here, he's here to coach you and guide you. So make sure you make this one count. Okay. Well, if that's the case, <laughs> I, then I want to. I, I do want to take a step back and say this. <laughs> Every little boy has a dream, and little girl too, I'm sure. But every little boy has a dream, and it's usually something like when they go to a concert and they see Gene Simmons on stage, and they're like, I want to be that when I grow up, right? And so with, even with as ridiculous as it sounds, sometimes people follow those footsteps, and they follow through, and they become the singer of Nickelback, or they become the guitarist of Avenged Sevenfold. You, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So with that mindset, I'm going to ask you this, this next one, <clears throat> number seven. After seeing Home Alone as a kid, where the dude says, keep the change, you filthy animal, I always wanted to feel like a boss. I didn't really care how. I just wanted to feel like one. So as a boss, am I allowed to tell employees to shut up and where I can then throw my feet up on a desk and kick back in my chair? (laughs) Are you allowed to do that as a boss? Do you have that kind of power? Well, I do it all the time. But, uh, <laughs> he's like, he's like you know, <laughs> you, probably not. Are you allowed to do it? Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, certainly you're allowed to. You're allowed to tell your employees what to do within uh, within certain parameters of, of good manners. But to shut up count as being one of those parameters. Uh, that yeah, that might be that might be edging over the line a little bit. Okay, it, so it, it really depends. It depends on the situation. So I have to I have to hire somebody who's not going to push back. That way, I can tell them to shut up then. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna have to put that in the questionnaire. I keep thinking of Ari Gold, man. He got away with so much. Again, TV show. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, man, that's the problem with TV, man. <laughs> it messes everything up. All right. Well, hey, well, Mick is clearly not ready for a business. I don't know. I think I might be Triple X Records, baby. I don't think you're ready for that. But All hey, right, well. <laughs> we appreciate Tom stepping in. I think Tom may or may not stick around for this next segment. But we appreciate Tom taking the time to join us with this. Next, we're going to get into uh, something we may, may all be interested in, maybe dating, maybe not dating. We'll get into that coming up next on Skull and Bones Radio. I just want to say, let's, let's agree to disagree, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> 